This episode of Paddling TV is brought to you by Yakima Racks and Trailers. It's never been easier to get out and enjoy the world with your friends. Visit us at yakima.com. You don't need a PhD to realize that strapping a 16 to 18 foot kayak to the roof of your vehicle can end in disaster. And so take the time to do it right. To start with, I just don't trust factory installed racks. They're not nearly as strong or reliable as a good set of racks like Yakima racks. Either way, it's a good idea to put some padding on your racks to protect your boat. Even better, Yakima has some great accessories that protect your kayak and make it more secure on the roof of your vehicle, like the Mako saddles and the Hully rollers. Although these are great additions for transporting any kayak, I would almost call them an essential piece of gear for transporting fiberglass or Kevlar kayaks. Now to get your boat on the roof, it will be much easier with two people. If you think you're going to have to load a boat by yourself, check out Yakima's boat loader, which is a telescoping extension. Simply slide the kayak on and then retract it when you're done. In my opinion, the ultimate rack system for any long kayak is Yakima's rack and roll trailer because there's virtually no lifting involved. At only 150 pounds, the rack and roll can easily be towed by any vehicle and it carries up to four kayaks. The cool thing about the rack and roll trailer is that it uses the same crossbars as the roof rack, which means you can use any accessory with it. On the other end of the spectrum, the most basic and cheapest way to transport a kayak is by using soft racks, which are basically just pads that protect your roof as you tie your kayak to the vehicle through its open doors. Now this can work for really light kayaks, but it's not nearly as secure and you can do a lot of damage to the roof of your vehicle. No matter what type of rack you use, you'll want to use heavy straps to tie your kayak down. And when you're, when you're using these things, the best way to do it is to go under the, the rack on one side and then you're going to throw both ends of the strap over the kayak. This is when it's nice to have the padded cam buckle so you don't ding up your car. Now when you're tying the kayak down on the other side, you want to make sure the strap goes on the inside of the rack's feet, not on the outside. If it's on the outside, then the strap can easily slip off the end and you lose your boat. Aside from the two center straps, you also want to have a bow and a stern line on a long kayak like that. The bow and stern line aren't designed to, designed to really hold the kayak down. They're designed to stop the kayak from shooting off the car if you have to brake quickly. So when you're tying the bow and, uh, bow and stern lines, don't cinch them down. Have them snug, but not too tight. As a final note, you have to expect that your tie job will loosen after driving any distance, especially if it's wet out. And so take the time to stop and check that everything is secure.